After 97 days of meetings and discussions so far this year, members of the Kansas Senate finally started debating their very first tax proposal of the session. KSNT News' Caitlin Berry was back at the State House today as the serious work finally got underway. And she joins us now with the latest developments on their progress. Caitlin? Christina, as you can see from the online tracker on our homepage at KSNTnews.com, the cost of this extended session has now passed a quarter of a million dollars, and many lawmakers still tell me they're not getting any closer to agreeing on a compromise. The Senate got right to business this morning on a tax plan they were supposed to discuss last week, but the first two hours of debate weren't actually about whether to pass the plan. We can stay here all day and debate this. But I've decided to give everyone an opportunity. An opportunity to kill the latest tax proposal before ever really talking about it. This bill before us today does nothing to fix the structural deficiencies that have been introduced in our tax code. Two hours spent debating whether to debate the tax proposal. Or we can put this thing to rest right now and eliminate this vehicle and kill this bill. In the end, they voted not to do that, accomplishing little in the process. In my mind, that was just uh, stressing their distaste for trying to raise any kind of tax at all. While the Senate slowly moves ahead on their first tax proposal of the session, across the hall, the House did even less. They met for less than half an hour. Tried to get 63 people to decide. I can't decide with myself. A House committee approved a new tax plan yesterday, which was supposed to be considered today. But I'm told a technical glitch with a computer system prevented that from happening. Several representatives then showed up here in the Senate, hoping to take something away from its debate. Uh, my guess is that whatever their plan is, it will fail. But uh, failure in this case is, is progress because then you find out why people voted against it and then you can move to adopt or adapt your plan to what people want to vote on. Senator Donovan tells me he expects the tax debate will last several days. So far, lawmakers have agreed to slightly lower the sales tax on food, but until they can come to a compromise on a complete tax plan, our online tracker will continue ticking, and I'll keep updating you on their progress. In the studio, Caitlin Berry, KSNT News. Thank you, Caitlin. We're told the House is expected to debate their newest tax plan sometime tomorrow.